Thank you for joining in on Devotions here today. And we've been talking about how to cultivate your heart. Now, this is all according to the Lord and the Word of God. I'm just telling you right now, you can't do anything without the Word of God. The Word of God is what makes you strong. The Word of God is what makes you uh, courageous. It, it is what gives you joy and peace and also success. Now, we're going to look at the fruitful heart. This is all about the sower and the seed. So he's sowing all these different seeds on different types of ground. Well, you want to have the kind of ground that's fruitful, a heart that's fruitful, receiving. Look at Matthew 13, 23. As for what was sown on the good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it. He indeed uh, bears fruit and he yields uh, in one case, a hundredfold, and another 60, and another 30. So, when we listen to the Word of God, not only are we going to be blessed, not only are we going to grow, but we're going to multiply things for God. The, the Bible says that God gives us different talents. And when we go home to be with God, we're going to have to answer to the, Him how we use those talents, how we used our time, how we multiplied blessings back to the Lord. Well, you can't do that unless you are in the word of God. You want a fruitful heart. Look in uh, 1 John 2, 17. He said, and the world is passing away along with its desires. Notice here, all this stuff the world has to offer us, it's just going to pass away, going to burn up. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. So I want you to think about this. Say to yourself, I don't want to waste my time. I, I, I'm going to be a friend. There's so many things that I've done in the past. And I thought to myself, what a waste of time. What an absolute waste of time. You, you don't want to be that person. Look here. The test of your character, what does it take to stop you? Now, the only way that you can become strong enough to keep on keeping on is to stay in the word of God. God, I really want to encourage you with that today. I, I, you know, there, there's things in which God wants you to be fruitful in this life. Now, don't get me wrong. You need to make enough money to try to take these off your home. You know, some people, they're constantly struggling with their finances to the place where they have a hard time even serving God. I, there's a man I know, and we both started out doing some investing years and years ago. So we were doing some real estate work. Well, I was really impressed with what he was doing. I mean, this guy was like my hero. He was doing some things. And I was, wow, I was falling behind him. And I was emulating what he was doing. And I was doing the same thing. So then one day he came to me because it was so hard. And he was having such a rough time. And he finally said, that's it. And he like threw away everything he was doing. I said, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Then he came to me. He said, you should do the same thing. This is never going to work. Okay, do you, do you know why he failed? I'm just telling you. He's a Christian. He's just barely going to church. Uh, he, we, we've been saved the amount, same amount of time. He's barely in the word of God, of God. Let me tell you, when you're not in the Bible, you become weak. And finally, I told him, I'm, I'm not budging, I'm not budging. Okay, so 30 years went by, and he came back to me. He said, oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. I would have stayed doing what you and I were doing. He had his own thing going on, but it is very, very sad. Okay, now this comes back to the Bible. Listen to me. The reason why you keep quitting things is that your life is not fruitful because you're not taking in the word of God. God will bless everything you do if you put him number one. Look here, Psalms 126, verse 5. Those who sow in tears, they shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed. Notice here, he's weeping because it's hard. Life is hard. It's hard living for God, but he just keeps on keeping on. He says, he's bearing the seed for sowing. He shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. Notice him, coming home. That's home to God. One day we're going to be standing in heaven. We're going to say, wow, I'm just so glad. I just stayed consistent with God. I'm so glad that I stayed in the Bible. That I just kept taking in the word of God. L listen, everything you do must have eternal 
value. Listen, one day you're going to stand before him, so I want to encourage you today, I want you to check your heart.